Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Women Entrepreneurs Week in Saskatchewan. We commend Premier Mo and the government of Saskatchewan for the annual proclamation of Women Entrepreneurs Week. We're living in unprecedented times where the black swan, a term coined by author Taleb, swooped in on us and altered our lives abruptly, inextricably, and irrevocably. As we recognize and honor women entrepreneurs in our province this week, we take pause to acknowledge the devastating impact of COVID-19 on all small businesses in our province. While the road to economic recovery seems arduous, each and every one of us in our province can commit to rebuilding our economy by shopping local, supporting local businesses, and where possible, creating jobs. Women entrepreneurs have a critical role to play in the economic recovery of our province. In October of 2018, West commissioned the first report through PwC, Women Entrepreneurship in Canada. The national data provided evidence regarding the disparity in the rate and extent to which women-owned businesses scale due to unique barriers of lack of access to capital, mentors, networks, and a myriad of other factors. WESC advocated for a Saskatchewan Advisory Committee to examine the gender entrepreneurship gap in our province. In May of 2019, the Honorable Tina Beaudry Miller, Minister Responsible for Status of Women, Advanced Education and Innovation Saskatchewan, announced the creation of a WESC-led advisory committee to provide recommendations to enhance the business climate and support women entrepreneurs scale their business. Through the work of the Saskatchewan Advisory Committee, it became evident that specific data on women entrepreneurs in our province was warranted in order to develop effective recommendations. Today, WESC is releasing the second report, Women Entrepreneurship in Saskatchewan, prepared by PwC and sponsored by Connexus Credit Union, Hill and Levine Schools of Business, and the Women Entrepreneurship Knowledge Hub. I want to thank our sponsors for their support of this important initiative. Indigenous women account for 16% of the total female population in our province. Indigenous women outnumber men in the province by a ratio of 52% to 48%. It is incumbent on us to address the unique barriers experienced by Indigenous women. A separate report on Indigenous women was in the process of being commissioned, however, has been delayed due to the pandemic. And now, for the key highlights of the report we're releasing today. One, women-led businesses contributed 23.1 billion in GDP and approximately 192,000 jobs to the Saskatchewan economy in 2019. Two, in terms of size and share, approximately 88% of women-led businesses in Saskatchewan have under 10 employees. Women are less likely to lead a business as the size of the business increases. Three, in relation to the financial performance, women-led businesses with one to 49 employees have lower revenues than men-led businesses. For businesses with 50 to 99 employees, however, women-led businesses have higher revenues. Women-led businesses are less capital intensive than men-led businesses. Four, in relation to sectoral composition, there's a predominance of women-led businesses in the healthcare, social assistance, and national security sectors. Five, in relation to city of location, all cities have a greater share of men-led businesses. Of the total Saskatchewan businesses, 24% are in Saskatoon, 20% in Regina, and less than 4% in other remaining cities. Women-led businesses in Regina are larger in comparison to Saskatoon, and women-led businesses 
are more often headquartered in Saskatchewan. The data clearly indicates that women entrepreneurs can play a vital role in economic recovery in Saskatchewan. A few implications and opportunities arising from the findings, but not limited to, are one, given over 80% of women businesses have under 10 employees, programs and supports dedicated to this segment may be warranted for economic recovery. Two, given that the health economy will become a key driver of future growth, develop a strategy to leverage the predominance of women entrepreneurs in this sector. And three, given that women-owned businesses are labor-intensive and therefore have a greater propensity to create more jobs, develop a strategy to support women entrepreneurs scale their business. While this data was compiled in March 2020, pre-COVID-19, it serves as a benchmark for future assessments. A full detailed report is available on the WESC website. Please do join us for the various events and activities planned through the course of this week. Before I conclude, I would like to pay tribute to our essential service workers who are out there. They're out there so you and I can stay in and stay safe. They are our everyday heroes. Together, we will get beyond this. Thank you.